Come on. Come on. Let's put this one the red. And that one. Hmm? Get in. You can drive. Sit back. Arms in. Other arm in. You got an apple. What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back. We're running behind because we forgot all about a lunch with my in-laws. So we're gonna go do that, and then we're gonna get into this video. See you in a bit. that we forgot was actually an hour drive away. We're gonna do that, and then since the rest of the day has already gone to crap, because Jeff's schedule is off and the video I wanted to do requires some assistance from him, we're gonna do something else today. I don't know what it is, but I'll have to shoot that video tomorrow. We'll figure it out. Anyway, we're, uh, we're at Cozumel Mexican Restaurant in Stroud, Oklahoma. It's actually really good. Mexican food, so uh, yeah, we'll be back in just a bit. Steadicam, which is more the object of what it is. So I got in the mail this little Steadicam from a company called Pseudophoto. We're gonna test it out. Just gonna have some fun with this camera. little pouch you have the glide cam itself it comes with two sets of weights one for the front one for the back or in this case maybe the side I don't know the mounting plate is kind of weird but that should be more than enough weight now this thing is rated or designed for action cameras is what they say but we're not gonna put a GoPro on it we're gonna put the Sony on it and then it comes with this little dual mounting plate quick release plate, and then another plate for the other adjustment. I don't know why they have levels on the knobs, but hey, they're there. So now I've got to switch over to GoPro mode, and we're going to put the Sony on this glide cam, see how it balances, 
and then go get some shots of trees because it's kind of all I've got today. Here we go. Now just right off the bat I want to say this thing has outstanding build quality. The only things on here that are not metal are the uh, the bubble levels and the foam on the hand grip. Everything else is metal and it's very heavy duty. But it's designed for, according to their description on Amazon, it's designed for a GoPro or an action camera. But we're gonna put this uh, we're gonna put the Sony on here and see how it works out. Now, one of the things I think that's cool about this particular setup is that their quick release plate, first off, it's huge, but it also has a quarter 20 mounting slot right in the middle. So you could actually just put this sucker right on top of a tripod, it looks like. You know, if you were to need to mount your, your, your steady cam to a tripod for some reason. Small rig multi-tool, talked about it in the last video. Already coming in handy. So, got the quick release plate on the Sony with the Tamron 28 to 75. And then we're just gonna stuff this on here. It's balanced that fast. Now let's see if it does the tip test. This should take three, approximately three seconds to go back to vertical, and it doesn't. So now we just have to extend the height. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. That feels pretty good. Now let's see what we've got. You know, doesn't stay perfectly level. Still feels like it tips to the right a little bit. It does. Feels pretty good. Take the lens cap off and see how much out of balance that throws it. Nope, seems good to me. Now I'm gonna go get some shots with it and we'll see how smooth it is. cam it's not something I'm well versed in not something I've practiced with a lot but even with no practice and a recovering broken heel and having to hobble and stumble the shots are a lot smoother than you would get if you went out without any kind of stabilizer on it on the, your camera so let's talk about price real quick and then I'm gonna go home and edit this video probably shouldn't vlog while I'm driving but I'm gonna face forward so I don't crash or anything Plus, I'm on a back road not doing but 15 miles an hour, so bear with me. The price tag on this glide cam is absurd, especially considering how high quality it is. This thing is 50 bucks. 
you you can't beat you can't beat that for a nice especially budget steady cam with most of the bells and whistles 50 bucks is outstanding highly recommended if you don't have a stabilizer or you're not going to be able to afford a gimbal like the Ronin or even if you have a gimbal like a Ronin or something and you just need something that's fast and far more portable and probably 10 times more durable. You can use this in the rain. You couldn't use a Ronin in the rain. This also sets up in two minutes. A Ronin still takes 15 minutes to put together. This, uh, this steady cam is definitely worth 50 bucks. It's probably worth more than like the actual glide cams are considering the ease of use and the, the quality of it. Now, if you've got something bigger than the Sony a7 III, then it may not be the glide cam for you. If you have a red, you're probably going to need to go with some other option. But for us low-budget guys, 50 bucks is, uh, is pretty outstanding, man. 50 bucks is really, is really doable. But now I'm going to go home and get this video edited and chill out for a bit because it's hot and I'm sweaty. So I will see you guys soon. Actually, before I go, I need to say real quick, this video was not sponsored. I did not get paid to do this uh, little video. They did send me the product for free, but a free product is not a sponsored video. So shout out to Pseudo Photo for sending me this thing. It's pretty cool. Link will be in the description below. It'll be an affiliated link. So if you go buy one, I will get a little bit of a commission. And, you know, that helps keep these videos coming. So definitely go check it out if you're in the mode to buy any kind of stabilizer for your camera. Well worth your 50 bucks. Highly recommended. Anyway, if you're new here, I appreciate you being here, checking out the content. I would love it even more if you'd slap that subscribe button and come back to see more videos in the future. Hit the notification bell icon so you can actually be reminded to do that when I upload a video. And regardless of whether you're new or not, hit the thumbs up button for me if you appreciate this content. It helps me out a lot. Share the video with your friends. They all need to see it. I know I want them to see it. More people on the channel. Better for me. Better for you guys. Helps my content get out there. Helps the success of this channel. It's just good stuff. Anyway. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna drive safely home now. Peace.